Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial in Go High Level. Now today in this video tutorial, I will show you how to use multiple WhatsApp numbers in a single sub account in Go High Level. Now before we get started, you will need an account on Go High Level. So please check out our 30 day free trial down below with the first link in the description. And for this, we will use WAGHL. So WAGHL is a platform, is basically a WhatsApp service for Go High Level. You can install WhatsApp numbers through that platform as well. You can also get a 14 day free trial with our link down below. So we will need to use WHDHL in order to connect uh, multiple WhatsApp numbers in a single sub account in Go High Level. Now, WGHL, um, actually, they created a lot of really good features. They have uh, unlimited WhatsApp numbers in a single sub account. This is the feature that we're going to be covering in today's video. The second feature they have is a chat GPT assistance integration. So you can also integrate a chat GPT assistant using the WAGHL. And you also have sending voice notes on WhatsApp using chat GPT. So you can use chat GPT to send voice notes on WhatsApp using uh, WAGHL tool. So these are some of their tools. Now today we'll show you how to get unlimited WhatsApp numbers in a single sub account on Go High Level. Now, as you can see, uh, you can connect unlimited WhatsApp numbers in a single sub account and you can connect one number per user and each user can communicate through his number. Then the admin can monitor all the conversations right here, as you can see. So if I go here to this video, let me just pause this right here. Here you'll be able to see what I'm talking about, right? So let's right now go into Go High Level and let's start with the step one. So what you want to do is you want to switch to a sub account where you want to add your number. So basically we have real estate sub account right here. And what we want to do is we want to go to our settings and we want to go to my staff right here. So make sure you have at least some users right here. We added some of the users right here. We added the phone numbers. Um, we have one admin that will overview the two users right here and the two, um, basically two users. And uh, what we want to do is we want to basically set this up right here. Once we set this up right here, what we want to do is we want to go back and we want to go to settings and business profile. We want to copy the location ID. I will show you in a second why you want to copy the location ID. Now for this, again, you will need to go and get a free trial down below. You can get a link with 14 day free trial. You can get it now for free. Then what you want to do is you want to click register. And once you go here, as you can see, you will need to go here and register your agency owner name your agency owner email ID, which will be your email ID, your agency owner number, and also your GHL sub location ID, which will be your location ID. So what you wanna do is just paste this right here. Once you register here, or once you click register, you will basically land on the uh, admin panel, which is going to be this right here. This is going to be the admin panel. Uh, you know, and you know, you will get your credentials on uh, WhatsApp and your email when you register on the WAGHL uh, website. Now, once you register, once you get your email and WhatsApp, uh, uh, once you get your email credentials, you will log in here with them and just log in. And you know, once you log in, everything will be right here. Uh, we already added location. We copied the location ID. Now we want to activate multi-user or multi-device option. So for this, you can go here. We're just going to be focusing on this, um, on this um, sub account. We want to go here. As you can see, I already enabled multi-user option. But for you, if you haven't enabled, you'll need to go to edit. Once you go to edit, right here between the create contact and Twilio SID, you will have a option to enable multi-user or, or multi-device option. Just make sure to click yes. Or if you don't have that option, make sure to contact WAGHL support. They are really fast, they're really quick, so they will be able to sort that out for you. Now, once we have this, what we wanna do is we wanna click on the I to actually sync the users. So all the users that we added right here, 
if we go to my stuff right here, all the users that we added right here, we want to sync them. So we want to go here and we want to go to the eye icon. So click on eye icon and you just click sync users. Once you click sync users, as you can see, I already did it right here. But once you click sync users here, you will be able to just click OK. And uh, then you will have this right here. Once you have this, what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, edit section. So we want to go to the edit button and you want to make sure to enable this for the users. So using multi-user, just click update and this will update it right here as you can see. And this will say yes. So we can do this for both contacts right here as you can see, yes. So as you can see, both of these contacts are, um, yeah, so we just need to just refresh here. Obviously this, this is not yet connected, but you can just click yes, update. And as you can see, I successfully update both of these. Now, as you can see, both of these are users right here and these are users right here. So those are basically the users that we're talking about right here. So once we have this, uh, we can go to the next step. Now we already enabled multi-user feature and we set it to yes. What we want to do is we want to go to our agency view. So we can go to our agency view here. Now, once you go to agency, view, let's go to settings. And on the settings, we want to go to custom menu link. So obviously, as you can see here, you will have already a uh, custom link. If the location is already registered in the WAGHL system, you will have links right here. However, in case you haven't created a custom menu link in your GHL account, you want to create one. So we want to go here and create one. The icon can be WhatsApp icon. So you just go with WhatsApp icon. A link can be WhatsApp multi-user or actually the link title multi-user. The URL, the URL can be found right here. If you go to this site, I will link this site down below as well. The other features from WAGHL. But if you scroll down here, you will be able to see this link right here. So you just copy this and you paste it right here. And as you can see, we can go here and show to all accounts, show link on account sidebar or show link on agency sidebar. So you can do this however you want. Uh, you can also put any name right here for the title. And yeah, this, this is depends all what you want to do, but click save here. Once you click save, this will be it, right? We will basically connect the WhatsApp multi-user. Now, if you go back here, let's go back. We can see that we have multi-user right here. So if we go and if we click on it right here, we cannot click on it. So we'll need to go here to the real estate sub account. We can switch back to the sub account and now we can just go and click on the WhatsApp multi-user. Now, as you can see, if you're getting this message right here, uh, don't get confused by the error. Multi-user will only work on the user where you enable the feature. So it will only work on the user where you actually enable the feature. So that's basically the first part of setting everything up. Now, what you want to do to basically enable this feature is if you can see right here on the admin, we enable this for do two contacts, right? For two users. So what we want to do is we want to go and find the user. We want to go here and we want to log in as that user. So as you can see, smth at john.com, this is our email address right here. So we can just go here and once we click on that, uh, we'll get a QR code where we can actually go and scan that QR code with our uh, WhatsApp. Now on your WhatsApp, if you go to your mobile phone, you basically want to go to the WhatsApp and you want to go to settings and you want to link devices. And once you click link device, you can go and scan that QR code. Now, uh, obviously that's one thing how you can do it, right? Obviously the second thing is you can also log in as this person right here because this is also being activated for them. You can also go here to connect the, uh, the phone number. So if we go here, we can also connect the phone number like this. So this is going to be it, right? So if you log in as, for example, uh, John Smith right here with this, if you log in here like that, right here, you have here actually, then you will get something similar to this and you will be able to scan the QR code. Now, obviously, uh, once we have this, you can test this by sending messages from user one to your WhatsApp. So you can test this as well. So you can do this by going to conversations and then in the conversations, 
you can actually go and as you can see right here I have everything right here and uh, basically I already have connected the WhatsApp so I can go and I can uh, you know send this uh, message to pretty much anyone right so this is in a nutshell how you can go and how you can you know, create a multi or use multi uh, WhatsApp numbers in a single sub account in go high level. Now, obviously, if you cannot see messages, make sure to assign a user to the contacts where you want to view the messages for. So make sure to do that. Right. Um, so this is obviously just one way, um, you know, how we can see the messages and incoming messages. Um, and of course, if you have any questions or anything you want to add, Comment down below. Again, you can get a 14-day free trial on WAGHL. So you can also see that for yourself. And you can also get a 30-day free trial on Go High Level if you want to try out Go High Level for yourself as well. So uh, yeah, this has been the tutorial on how to use multiple WhatsApp numbers in a single sub account in Go High Level. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to comment down below and we will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.